Good morning, good glorious Monday morning. Um, guess what? I'm on vacation! <laughs> uh, June is almost over and I can't be more than happy to be done with this month. I'm done with 2020, but I'm definitely done with June. I had to fly a few trips and now I'm on vacation. off and um, it'll be my first real vacation since uh, the virus and um, I'm excited for vacation I've been dropping clues for you guys and one of the clues I'm going to give you today is that since I'm on vacation and I'm sick of airplanes I'm not going on an airplane so that is your clue that wherever I'm going we're not flying can I get you something some more folk butter laying into the bone, jack me up. Tight me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Cuddy say can't hang. Oh, Stewardess, I speak jive. Oh, good. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. All right, would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? Just hang loose blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama? My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. It's a cutting thing. Chomp the one to help. Chomp the one to help. Don't get the hell. Say can't hang. Say seven up. Jive ass dude don't got no brains in here. Do you have an idea where we're going? I live in San Francisco, for those of you who don't know. Um, and it's not a staycation. We're going to actually go. Um, hopefully, with all these... Uh, virus numbers going up. I don't know. They're closing down everything again. People are not being responsible. People wear your mask. Wear mask. So anyone harassing me to wear a mask, you guys are violating federal law. Do you get that? Get that on camera. Ma'am. We can get out of this situation. Just, just for a little bit. Give up your freedom of rights or whatever you have a reason not to wear your mask. Wear it. Okay? Anyway, it's Motivation Monday, so I'm, I'm gonna be kind of calm. I'm in my Zim. Today's beverage is brought to you by English Black Tea. Kind of wake my uh, morning up and get my week going, and I have uh, actually put honey in the tea. And I'm gonna squeeze, oh, that smells so good, some lemon in there. I guess I was screaming over the weekend because I have a kind of scratchy um, throat. And it's so scary to say what you had these days because people's like, oh shoot, maybe you should get tested. Maybe you got the corona. I'm like, no, folks, I'm good. <laughs> Just a little scratchy voice. You know, I got that deep baritone voice and you know, it gets scratchy sometimes. Anyway, how's everybody's Monday going? Hopefully I have this video up by Monday and it's Monday when you're getting this video. If not, how is your day going? If you're new to my channel, I'm Sky Bobby. Now it will be a good time to hit that button right there to subscribe and uh, be a sky boy or a sky girl. So a lot's been going on. A lot happened over the weekend. Y'all know I'm a beehive and I'm a diehard Beyonce fan. Um, so anything she, if she sneezed, I get a text. So she sneezed uh, about a week ago and I got a text that she dropped the single out of nowhere. So I went crazy looking for it. I finally found it and I played it over and over trying to memorize the words. Cause you know, when she drops something, next thing you know, you got three days to get to her concert, get your money together. And I always tell people, if you a Beehive or a Beyonce fan, always have that Beyonce envelope ready. Cause you just never know when she's going to drop that whatever. So she dropped it. Then last night, the BET Awards, uh, were held last night, they did it for the first time virtually, which was kind of cool. It was the first time I really seen something with high quality. And the who's who was definitely there. And Beyonce received the uh, BET Humanitarian Award and it was given to uh, her by uh, Michelle Obama. If you haven't seen that, the video before this one, um, I have that video for you, so check it out. Um, 
But the showstopper to me was Jennifer Hudson singing one of um, Aretha Franklin's um, church songs. And y'all know she's playing Aretha uh, in the movie, uh, I think it's Ari Speck? No. Yeah, I think it's Ari Speck? I'll have it down below. And uh, now it's being released in December, and there's like, just give her the award. Just give her the Academy Award <laughs> for Best Actress. Um, but she's already a Academy Award actress, but she's more in a supporting role for uh, Dreamgirls, which she knocked that out of the park. But if she's nominated for Aretha, she'll be, um, and wins, she'll be the only second black actress to win Best Actress at the Academy Awards, Halle Berry being the first. And no one since has um, won that award. I remember Halle was crying and, and the door is open and this is for Vivica and all these people. And that door has only been cracked because nobody else has won that award. So that's when we say Black Lives Matter, when we share the wealth with everybody. We got to get people of color in the power positions, not just being an actress, but being the producer, the director, the owners. Um, we got to get in more positions that make a difference. I think that's the difference you can make. Um, shout out to my white people, if you're in a power position and you can hire and do things, um, don't hire because they're black, but make sure you give them a second look. You know, give them a, a chance that, you know, they normally don't get when they're knocking But June door. wasn't a all bad month. Um, things started coming back to life and back to normalcy. I was able to hang out with friends and have a dinner party. Uh, I got back into tennis, started uh, hitting the balls again. Um, the gyms are still closed and I'm still fat, but we're going to work this out. It's going to be a fat boy summer, um, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. One of the things I got out of this um, quarantine shelter in place was eat, pray, and love. I had realized that I've been working out my body since middle school, playing sports and everything, getting out of school and wanted to have that hot tight body and just never took a break of my body and always trying to eat correctly and so at first when this all started I was like you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give my body up I'm, not, I'm just not gonna do it it's gonna be hard um but I did I let go slowly but surely and I just enjoy eat praying and loving eating whatever I wanted when I wanted um didn't worry about the walk. Well, I, I talked about the weight a lot, but actually I didn't really worry about it and it felt so good. Um, but now I'm um, reaping the, reaping the rewards? Or just the opposite of that, right? Like my jeans are tighter, my uniform is tighter. Um, so now it's time to get back to business and I'm gonna have that fall body, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe into spring, we'll see anyway, but there's no rush to get it back, but I'm ready and I miss my body. Um, yeah, I miss my body. Moving forward, um, after vacation, I have about a, about a week off for vacation and I'm flying to uh, New York all month, Manhattan, yay. Um, and I might pick up an international trip if I can pick one up. I haven't been out the country since um, the end of March, I think. Uh, New Delhi or London was my last trip and um, I didn't want to leave the country but now I'm getting more comfortable and understanding what's going on with the virus and all that and how to protect myself so I'm ready I'm ready to make some money I'm ready to get out there and do the business do the business and uh, what else I got going on in July got the vacation going back to work getting this body together um, Continue to reach out um, to my family. The things that I said I was going to do, I have all this time. Um, I was supposed to take Spanish. I think I was promising that to you guys so many times. Um, but I missed the deadline for the fall classes, so I'll be taking Spanish in the spring. And I will be having an app where I'll pick up and start learning some of the basic grammar um, for Spanish so I'll be ready for the college course. Um, but that's pretty much what's going on with me. Um, just trying to keep it together, folks. I know everybody's out there and it's still, unemployment's still high. <clears throat> Things um, are slowly getting back to, we can't use the word normal anymore. I don't know what things are getting back to, but politics is ramping up now. I mean, we go from 
the virus, to Black Lives Matters, to the elections. We got so much going on by the time November comes. We have to vote in November. I wish we could vote for him right there again. Or his wife, I so miss you. Oh God, I miss you. You don't know how much I, I miss that. Um, but this fall is gonna be interesting. When you think about it, it's time for us to vote. The George Floyd um, officers who killed George, um, they're on trial now, but the verdict can come out about the fall time, around the time we have the election. Um, they're predicted that the virus might come back in the fall. So you got the virus, you got the election, you got the cops on trial, who knows what else, but all at the same time, especially those verdicts come back, not guilty. Y'all thought y'all saw riots and stuff out in the streets right now? Y'all ain't seen nothing. Go Google uh, the, the 1965 uh, riots, Watts riots in LA. They were not playing. And I'm always, um, I'm always leery about protesting because now in the 21st century, people take it out of context. People hijack protesting, peaceful protesting, and benefit from it. So, you know, the days that Rosa Park boycotting, we all do it at the same time, I think is ending. Um, we're finding more companies or are contributing to maybe an organization that you don't agree with. And then we say, we boycott. Well, we'll be boycotting everything. There was one like Costco was giving money to the, uh, the Trump campaign, but so was low. So where do I go to get my toilet paper, you know? So, um, yeah, so I have like a second opinion on what it is to boycott in these days. Um, I know, I think you, you do more support what you're, what you're boycotting for. So if you're Black Lives Matter, is your support going on right now, you go to that organization and uh, donate your money. If it's um, LGBT rights, you go to those organizations and you give your money. So that's how I look at boycotting. Um, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to pop on, let you guys know that um, I have a video coming out Wednesday and Saturday. Those are my main uh, videos and then I just vlog in between. If you're new to my channel, um, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, um, make my channel grow so the world can see it. My goal is to have 100 million people watching me every single day. Hey, put it out there, you never know. Um, but I'll take 10 more this week, so make sure you subscribe down below. And if you made it this far, make sure you like the video. Um, that brings my algorithm all the way up and more people are able to see my video. Um, that's it. I am going to go get me some lunch and um, I don't know, go for a nice, nice walk here in San Francisco. It's a little overcast here in San Francisco, but it's supposed to clear up and be a nice day here. And hopefully the malls are open where I can go get some shopping for my vacation because I can't fit anything anymore. Um, sad. Uh, but I don't want to spend no money either, so it's like a catch-22. Anyway, I'm babbling on, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, girl, bye. That's right, I'm always right. <laughs> bye, girl. Thank you so much for this beautiful honor. I want to dedicate this award to all of my brothers out there, all of my sisters out there inspiring me, marching and fighting for change. Your voices are being heard and you're proving to our ancestors that their struggles were not in vain. Now we have one more thing we need to do to walk in our true power and that is to vote. I'm encouraging you to continue to take action, continue to change and dismantle a racist and unequal system. We have to continue to do this together continue to fight for each other and lift each other up because there are people banking on us staying at home during local elections and primaries happening in states across the country. We have to vote like our life depends on it because it does. So please continue to be the change you want to see. Thank you everyone who took the time to speak in that beautiful presentation. And thank you BET for this honor. It means so much to me, especially coming from y'all. I love you deep. God bless you and good night.